Oh, hello, hello again everybody. Um, in this episode I'm going to try and uh, do the backdrop uh, with a bit more detail into the waterfall and uh, I don't think I'll do a Picasso and do it in seven strokes like his masterpiece was it the horse seven strokes I don't know uh, but if I end up with one of my ears missing it's because it came out like a Van Gogh anyway we'll try see what we're going to do uh, to start with I've moved it away from the wall so I can reach it and I've made a little pencil mark here another one over there and another one down here to show uh, the area that I've got to try and paint some uh, forest and where the, where the uh, river actually goes or comes from and I have a good selection of uh, tester pots uh, the emulsion tester pots but the, the brown tube there is actually acrylic but they mix okay and uh, these are very very old actually there's only I think there's two or three newish ones the rest are quite old so there's just little bits left in the pot I'll just have to see if I can find something that will work well, I'm going to start by um, putting in here somewhere the uh, land, land would be the, the ground let's see if we can do something with that and then might be over here somewhere like that maybe now uh, um, we need some trees in there Now we get some tree trunks in there. And then the river will go around the corner. So now we need to get some or some trees in there but bear in mind this is all in the distance so um, it looks to me I think the light will be coming from this way so I'm going to make a little bit lighter I'll put a bit of lighter green in just touch it up there where the light's catching it I, I, I can't do it in too much detail and anyway this is supposed to be further away in the in the distance so uh, no harm in it being a little less detailed. All right, I'm just going to offer that up and see where we are. Uh, taking shape, um, but I've got to do something about the river there, and there's a little bit more needed down in this corner here. And I actually want to come round that way a little bit. I'm going to do something, I'm going to do some work on the river. So it's coming, and then uh, maybe a little bit more over on this side over here with the trees. We'll see. Well, I'm now standing about as far back as it would be uh, for normal viewing, and I think that's coming together fairly well. Uh, I just wish I was a slightly better artist, but there we are. One can only do what one can only do. I've got this um, B&Q uh, quick dry varnish gloss clear. And we'll get a coat of that on this, the river down here. 
and I'll see you. that'll be the first coat I think it's probably going to need about three coats but we'll give it a try anyway with the first coat that toilet paper I think it's got some good qualities it's got lovely little ripples in it just like the water I'm really pleased about that so thank you very much Martin of Sweden the next part of the uh, waterfall corner operation involves uh, two boxes a Twining's tea Earl Grey tea um, you can use uh, anything you like really it could be PD chips or Yorkshire tea it doesn't matter uh, but I, I happen to like Earl Grey and a random cardboard box and we're going to cut the box into strips so I'm going to make the strips about an inch wide so it doesn't matter three quarters of an inch 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 and a quarter doesn't matter uh, but not too wide otherwise they're difficult to intertwine so I've got my strips that these are the, the thicker cardboard and here are the thinner cardboard from the uh, tea box and the thicker ones I shall use as the main supports and then the thinner ones are the ones that are lace or weave in between and I'm going to start over there in that corner I used to use drawing pins uh, which are perfectly acceptable and if you put it in that side there which <laughs> that drawing pin is uh, bent so I'm going to use the staple gun and staple that down there and then fold it back on itself to go up where you want it to go on the scenery You can make that to any shape you want. And we get another one in. Another long one. So I'll go. There's a general shape that I want now for the banks either side of the waterfall and in the meantime while I'm waiting for the path to Paris I carry on with the river I was part of trying to make it easier to get at the scenery at the back there um, I didn't manage to make a very good job of the cardboard strips and weaving it so I'm going to try something else new now when Amazon send you a box that's too big for the stuff that they put in they very often use put this uh, brown paper screwed up uh, to stop the thing from rattling so I've taken a piece there like that and I'm going to soak it and then lay it on the top of that bit over there and see how it works out and then I'll put the plaster powers over the top of that. Now oh, this is an X dry vita uh, box. And I'm going to take the paper and shove it in there. And it's got loads of water in there and let's soak it. Really soak it. Okay. I've got that draped over there now. And uh, that's certainly good enough to hold or to support the fight of the plaster Paris bandage when it arrives and we'll see what we can do with it then 
and that's the other side done. So, as I say, it's good enough. If that dries out all right, uh, it will take the plaster of Paris bandage okay. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that actually. <laughs> this side, I didn't that brown paper is now dried, more or less in the shape that I made it. But I'm still waiting for the plaster of Paris bandage to arrive. In the meantime, I was rummaging through the drawers that I keep scenery bits in. I came across this and I've got a part roll and a whole roll. So I'm going to use those just to get started. And the first thing is I like to cut it into pieces about 8 inches long, something like that. That will do. Now we get the container of water and I'm going to start with a longer piece. That was the end of the roll, that one. And just get it dipped in there. Very, just one little dip, take the drips off. That's all used up now, so I'll have to wait for the rest of it to come. And I just need a couple more pieces on there. And then I've got to make the banks alongside the river here. I also came across a piece of polystyrene board, which I've cut and put alongside the river like that, uh, to act as banks. And then with my tumble dot flyer, <laughs> tumbled tumble dryer fluff I'll be able to make uh, little banks along there oh, it's coming on now I'm just going to wait for the rest of the plaster Paris bandage uh, the next part of the operation involves the, the tumble dryer and in the tumble dryer we have this filter and when you open it up you get all this fluff forming on the on the filter so I save all of that and I have a bag full of it here <laughs> which I'm now going to take upstairs because I'm in the cellar at the moment well, overnight that's dried off nicely and now we get the messy bit with the tumble dryer fluff and for this operation I've teased out some of the tumble dye fluff. We need some wet water which in case you don't know is uh, ordinary water with just a little bit of um, washing up liquid in it. Uh, some A weak solution of PVO water and a pipette. Yeah, let's get started on that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is give it a light spray with the wet water and then the tumble dryer fluff on there so I'll have to get up and move it about a bit in a minute Give that a spray with the wet water.
the steeper surfaces I'm actually wetting it a little bit before I put it on Now that that's all on um, and covered, I'll take this weak solution of PVM water and my pipette and dribble it all over the place. Another way of doing this is to actually have a, a spray bottle as well, but um, I only had one spray bottle available and the, my old one, I hadn't washed it out properly and so it was completely blocked, unfortunately. But the wet water will have broken down the um, surface tension and so it, this will spread or should do <laughs> hope it does has done in the past for me I think what I'm going to do I'm going to cheat a little bit until I find myself another uh, spray bottle. I'm just going to splash it about. That will do. A little bit more poking. I had to have to get some more in there. Oops. Whilst that's drying, um, and before I do the other side, it's coffee time. Well, that's both sides done, and I've put a little bit alongside the river as the bank and this, this bit here will be a little bit of a wharf so there we are I think that's enough for this episode uh, so if you'd like to come back for my next episode uh, where I'll be um, decorating the uh, uh, tumble dryer fluff with um, grass and trees and and what have you so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you again so goodbye for now and thanks very much for watching bye if you know anyone who'd like to make scenery on the cheap please share this video